so hello everyone and uh, hope so that you all are fine now in the previous uh, class we had done how to represent under root 2 on a number line i had explained you how to do it so now in today's video we are going to do how to represent under root 3 on a number line so we'll just uh, discuss how it is to be done now first of all as it was told there also what you need to do is just have a number line and uh, mark here say 0 let this be marked as 1 this as 2 uh, just let us take it uh, at somewhat equal distance i'll try to take it at equal distances but you are going to mark it with the help of a ruler or a scale which you have so make sure that you keep this uh, at equal distance now the next thing which is to be done is if you remember what we did for square root 2 we are going to do the same thing we are going to first say mark this zero as point a this one as point b and then we just took a line perpendicular to the number line and equal to 1 unit this is what we had taken and we named this point say as c this was your one unit because this is one unit so this is also one unit distance and after this we had joined point a and point c then with the help of the compass taking a as center and radius equal to oc we had drawn an arc which say it represents point this is your point d and this point represents under root 2 this is under root 2 this is what we had done earlier so this thing will remain as it is you need this and then further we are going to construct now now in the further process what is there for under root 3 on this line ac oc uh, ac this line segment which is there from point c we are going to draw a perpendicular yahan se bhi hum ek perpendicular draw karenge and say this is the perpendicular drawn this is your point say p and this has again to be equal to 1 unit yahan 90 degree ka angle banna chahiye here it was a 90 degree angle here so same here also a 90 degree angle with 1 unit as a measurement after this then we are going to join this point a to point p join this point a to point p now if you see here you get a triangle sorry you are getting a triangle acp and this is a right angle triangle and because it is a right angle triangle so what we have here the side opposite to the right angle is an hypotenuse so this becomes ap squared using the pythagoras theorem or it is also named as bodhayan theorem is equal to ac squared plus cp squared so ap squared equals to ac squared now ac this measurement is under root 2 so it is square of under root 2 plus cp squared cp we have taken it as one unit so it is one unit and square of this ap squared is further equal to now square of under root 2 it is 2 plus 
that is ap squared equals to 3 and ap is equal to under root 3 so this measurement is equal to under root 3 now so the same way as we did with the help of compass the same we have to do here now we are going to place the compass at this point a which represents 0 and take the radius as o a p equal to this and from here we are going to draw an arc with the help of compass and wherever this arc is going to meet the number line this point will represent under root 3 and you say that you name this point as e so this becomes under root 3. so this is how you can represent under root 3 on a number line so is tarah se hum under root 3 ko jo hai number line pe represent kar sakte hain now the further if you talk under root 2 we have done under root 3 explained you now under root 4 if you are talking about then under root 4 is equal to 2 itself because we have the square root of 4 that is 2 and 2 is already there on the number line so for this we don't have any special construction to be done after this we are going to represent under root 5 on the number line now for under root 5 what all things will be done we are going to just take the same thing again have a number line then mark the points on this 0 this is say 1 this is your 2 this is 3 this is 4 and of course here towards the left you will have negative so no need of all those now consider this point as say a the number which as the point with zero is represented consider this as a and consider this point two as b consider this point as b ab humne kya kiya hai humne one pe point ko consider nahi kiya we are considering it on two why kyunki jaise humne ye dekha hai series under root two or under root three ki jo values hain ये होती है less than 2 क्योंकि under root 2 की value होती है 1.414 under root 3 की value जो होती है 1.732 तो ये दोनों values जो है these are less than 2 तो इसलिए हमने 1 को base point मान के हमने constructions किये थे but when we are talking about under root 5 in that case यही से हमें clear हो रहा है कि ये greater than 2 है 2 से बड़ा होगा ये under root 5 because under root 4 is 2 it means under root 5 will be greater than 2 so now what we will do we will consider 2 as the base point ab hum 2 ko base point suppose karte hue hum iska construction karenge so here the same thing to be done now at this point b we are going to draw a perpendicular which is equal to 1 unit ये जो distance होगा, this we have to take it as one unit only. And you can name this point, say it is C. Then the next step, same like the previous one, this point A will be joined to point C. And then if you calculate it in this triangle ABC, now in triangle ABC, you have AC squared equals to AB squared plus BC squared. So AB, AC squared equals to, now AB, this distance AB, this is two units. So it is square of two. BC, it is one unit. So it is square of one. AC squared equals to four plus one. So AC squared equals to 5 and AC is square root of 5. So at this line segment measures under root 5. Now again the same process. Taking the compass, place it at point A. Radius, take it as AC and draw an arc which is going to meet the number line 
say at point you may name this point say it is d and this point d represents under root 5 so this is the point where under root 5 will be located after under root 5 if you want to go with under root 6 then for under root 6 we are going to take this under root 5 as a uh, sorry again it is because greater than 2 only so the, this 2 will be taken as the base point and we are going to do the same thing but already we have one perpendicular here so we cannot draw again one more perpendicular in that case what we will do we will draw the perpendicular on point c or in other words you can say that we are going to consider under root 5 as the base length we have under root 5 ko base length man ke hi jo hai hum under root 6 calculate karenge so here at point c we are again going to draw a perpendicular which is again of one unit this is a perpendicular drawn say let us name this point as p and then we are going to join a and p after joining a and p now what we will do the same process taking a as the center ap as the radius and now we are going to draw an arc which intersects the number line at a point say this is your point e and this point will represent under root 6 so in this way here if you again draw a perpendicular and continue the same process say again you are drawing a perpendicular of one, un, uh, one unit this is your point q and now if you join a to point q then calculating in this right angle triangle apq this will give you the length of under root 7 and again when we are going to draw it draw an arc it will somewhere come here which will represent under root sorry 7 the same way again if we continue we will get under root 8 then if you are going with under root 9 now this under root 9 is 3 itself under root 9 jo hai wo 3 hoga ab agar aap se ye pooch liya jaye under root 10 ka kya karna hai then in that case kya karenge hum that's under root 3 will be greater than 3 under root 10 sorry under root 10 will be greater than 3 to hum is point 3 ko base point manenge aur 0 se 1 0 se 3 और यहां पे हम जो परपेंडिकुलर जो हमें ड्रॉ करना है वो हम यहां ड्रॉ करेंगे सो दैट फ्रॉम हियर यू विल बी एबल टू कैलकुलेट अंडर रूट 10 बट डोंट वरी अबाउट ऑल दिस यू विल गेट दिस ऑल हियर अंडर रूट 11 अंडर रूट 12 अंडर रूट 13 अंडर रूट 14 एंड अंडर रूट 15 फॉर ऑल दिस इरेशनल नंबर्स व्हाट विल बी योर बेस पॉइंट 3 because these are greater than 3 then under root 16 if it is this is equal to 4 itself so 4 ke equal hoga this point is already there then if you go with under root 17 and so on these all will be greater than under root 4 so hum jo perpendicular draw karenge wo 4 pe draw karenge at this point so in this way you can do it so just for uh, time being practice with under root 2 under root 3 under root 5 and under root 6. Practice all these, you will be able to understand the things and uh, we will end up here for today. In the next, we will continue the remaining part of uh, your topic that is number system. So, thank you all and have a nice day.